The battle against Ebola has reached Kenya, and the country's main airport has now implemented several epidemic preventative measures. Passengers from other African countries are screened, those from affected countries in West Africa are more thoroughly inspected. They fill surveillance form. After that, we subject them to sensor thermometer in order to take its temperature. And we also examine the passengers as they come. When we feel that they, are, they show some symptoms, then we isolate them and subject them to clinical assessment. When they show no signs and no fever, then we let them go, but we retain their contact so that we can be able to do contact tracing in future. If they develop the disease later, we can be able to follow them up in the country. And also we do the same for the transiting passengers. The airport has also trained its staff on how to deal with suspicious cases, as well as how to protect themselves. JKIA has also put in place advanced surveillance and tracking systems. We have put measures in place uh, to how to receive patients and so on. We have a protocol that we are following uh, for all patients coming from the West African uh, countries. Uh, and uh, we keep revising this and uh, I think we'll be announcing uh, any new measures that we take. But for now we are screening all the passengers from West Africa, uh, whether they are from the affected country or not. And uh, this is where we are standing now is what we refer to as the Somali Gate. This is for all passengers who are coming from West Africa into Kenya. We have another gate, which we are calling a gate three, that's for all transit passengers. All this, of course, means passengers have to wait longer to be cleared, but many think the extra time taken is worth it. I'm as anxious as everybody, and I'm happy to see that this kind of uh, uh, check is taking place here. I think it is very, very necessary. Uh, I, I was wondering whether we we're going to go through any checkup like this, and when I saw it, I was very happy. JKIA is one of the busiest airports in East Africa. Kenya has pledged to work closely with the World Health Organization to prevent any further spread of the deadly virus. Clementine Logan, CCTV.